Hello everyone, so today I'm dyeing my hair. So basically I dyed my hair last year and it's meant to be red but because I've also been swimming a lot, um, well I'm not swimming a month or so, it turned my hair into copper. So basically today we're going to use the Ion Permanent Brights Cream Hair Color Intensive Shine. This is Garnet. Garnet or Garnet, I call it Garnet, I don't know why I never say tea. So, or Garnet. And this color is magenta. Wish me luck, guys. I'll let you know what the end result is. Basically, um, after dyeing my hair, I'm going to wash it off and I'm going to use this plumbing mask from Bumble and Bumble. I've heard really good things about it. I've even tried it on my wigs, which was an expensive venture, but I love my wigs. And um, so this, to bring back, for because of any damage, maybe the dye would have done, you know, just to repair anything. And I'm going to add this conditioner because I just feel that I still did something a bit heavy to help um, moisturize my hair or hydrate my hair, which is made by I don't know, made by me, and um, that's the conditioner. And when I finish, I'm going to add this Polapex Number Six Bond Smoother, and I've had really good reviews, and it's really good. I've tried it on my weaves as well. It's really it's pricey, but not as even expensive. This is about maybe almost thirty something dollars, but this is. 40 something dollars then I'm gonna end it then obviously I'm gonna crown it with this conchon in the hair butter made by moi so this is the consistency um, I didn't finish the two tubes, so this is, or if this is not enough for my hair, um, I would like mix some more. So, off we go. So this is the color, you know, it came out white, and this is obviously the magenta, you know, the pink hues, but that's why I mixed it with garnet, so that it will tone it down, and I didn't finish the tubes. This is really an unorthodox way of um, dyeing your hair, or when I say unorthodox accessory, like you can see I'm not using the mixing bowl for dyeing, I'm using this and I'm using this kind of gloves. Gloves are gloves, as far as I'm concerned, and I can't wait to go out and buy those items, those accessories. So, I'll mix some more if it's not enough. Hello everyone, so it's over 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and I'm excited, really, really excited. Let me take out the hairpin, and I really do hope it's going to give me good results. So, I'm going to wash it, and I'm going to use the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Problem Mask to repair any damage that would have happened to my hair. This is it, and this cost about forty-five dollars or so. I didn't want to buy it, but when I went into Auto Beauty, the girl I wanted to buy Olapex, and the girl swore by it. One of the attendants was like, "You know what? This is magic." So I've done tried it on my weaves, but I won't try it on my natural hair. Then after five minutes, I think that's what the instruction says to wash up. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Aralewa conditioner, Shea and Avocado, um, coconut, just to give it more oils, more moisture. So I applied about four pumps of this, although the instruction says a little bit the long way. And you are just meant to apply it to like from not to the roots, from this part to the top of your hair. Um, and that's the reason why I want to use my hair butter, the avocado hair butter, because I'm going to use that on my roots, uh, you know, on my scalp. So that's why I'm adding that product. Um, so but this I have been adding to just the tips of my hair. Tips 
here. So just walk it in. Here. Just put the roots and give you the cardboard bottom. Hello, my lovelies. So this is the end result. <laughs> I'm laughing because I love it because it's fantastic. Um, so like I told you, I applied the um, Shea and Avocado Hair Butter, which is made by me. It's a hairdress, um, also serves like, like a leave-in conditioner. And I applied it to the roots of my hair and, and I applied some over the top as well. Because the Bond, um, the Bond, what's that thing called? Olapex, yeah. It's like a leave-in conditioner, but to me it doesn't replace moisturizing. That's why you have to use it with number... Um, this is number seven the oil which is so if you want to um, straighten your hair it's like a heat protectant so when you mix it a little bit with the oil so I'm gonna get that eventually but you know we still need my type of hair needs a uh, moisture so that's why like key moisture that's why I added the shea and avocado hairdress which is like in a creamy form um so what do you guys think of the end result I love it bye people hope you loved the video how soft my hair is. Oh, one thing about the Chia and Avocado is that it has a um, pe peppermint oil, it has rosemary oil, so it left my scalp a nice, slightly tingly sensation, which is really good. My hair feels clean and fresh and um, nicely moisturized and I know the Olapex did a wonderful job and the Bumble and Bumble and I'm happy with the results and how my hair feels and the texture so now I don't know what I'm going to do what I'm going to do with my hair in an afro for a few days or I don't know I really don't know Hello lovely, so this is the second day since I've washed my hair, well the next day, and I'm happy with the results, so I'm not professional, but I tried, didn't I try? Um, so the hair gel I used was the gummy, the red one, but I mixed it with the orange one, which I just got, it's called, um, this is the Keratin Cup Complex, and it's um, Styling Wax Bright Max Hold. So I like it because it said bright max hold because I think the other one, the red one is um, um, matte. So but this is bright so that means it's a bit shiny. You can see like a bit of a gloss. So so that's why I like this. So that's what I used majorly everywhere. And um, the lashes, the first time I wear lashes this long during the day. I hardly wear lashes this long and if I wear it, I wear it. And then my friend gifted it to me and I like it but I can't find my lashes. So then we do.